it's been 12 months since I last tried Hubflow. The last time I reviewed it, I was pleasantly surprised, but there were certain things that needed to be improved and now, 12 months later, I've returned to see if Hubflow has made any changes. I'm not going to go through the entire product because I've already done that in this video. So I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check out the first review of Hubflow. For those of you who don't know, Hubflow is a client engagement suite that helps professional service firms streamline their operations and elevate their client experience. Their claims that they can create beautiful, custom and secure client portals to work with their clients. The portal can be integrated to anyone's website, fully white labeled and even turned into a mobile app. But we're going to decide here today if Hubflow is capable of centralizing all of our tools into a client facing white label portal that you can be proud of. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and also leave the best link for you to grab Hubflow in the description below. Here we are inside Hubflow and straight off the bat, you can see that the dashboard has actually been improved. This looks a lot cleaner than how it was last year, which is always nice because it means that they're modernizing the system. Now, one of the first areas that I want to deep dive into is the workspace. This is where we create our client portals. Let's go ahead and create a portal. And today we're going to pretend that Google is one of our clients. So we're going to start it off by saying that this client portal is going to be called Google Inc. And we can create our own templates. So for example, I created a template previously labeled Amazon, and that's using past client portals framework to quickly get running with an existing client portal. We'll then go ahead and do create. And now we have our client portal. One of the first things I want to do is change the logo, the background and the profile image to something that Google's gonna log in and think, hey, this feels like our thing. So we're just gonna click on the profile. For this workspace only, I'm gonna add the logo Google then I'm going to edit the cover for this workspace only and we'll add that in right here. Now because I already set up a template for the Amazon client portal I already have all of these folders but let me show you just how simple it is to create folders, categorize them so then our clients can actually access all of these and have places to upload. We have places to upload and just make it really easy. If we wanted to create a new folder we can click on the folder button and then we just name it whatever it is we want to name. So I can say, hey, look, here's a bunch of my templates. If we go into one of the folders, we can add subfolders as well as all of that. We can direct link straight to this folder. We can also download the folder and even lock certain folders so they don't have access to it. There's a tremendous amount of automation you can do. So the flexibility of allowing access is through the roof. As well as adding all of these different folders, you can also add things like notes, custom embeds like YouTube videos, Loom videos, even Canva documents. When you add it here, it's completely seamless. This is just on the content side of things and I am going to show you what it looks like on the front end in a moment. We can also do things like tasks. This is really nifty because the tasks start turning into a bit of a CRM software as well because this allows you to create tasks assign the tasks to different people in your organization or even to the client. And then with those tasks, you can even add subtasks. So if it's like a big project, for example, or big task, you can turn that into lots of little tasks and then assign each to relevant people. Another interesting feature that Hubflow have done is the messaging feature. So directly in the chat, you can just say hello, do the at symbol and then tag the specific person. And that could be someone from your team or someone from the client clients team but they can actually chat with each other tag each other in just like a personal messenger and in this area you can attach files upload videos and if you click on the internal message this will make comments on the messages to your internal team members so no one else can see it for further action, you can click on this little notification here. And what this does is it will flag the conversation as action is needed. So if the client asks you for help, you can click on this notification button and it will flag your system saying, hey, something in this chat needs action right now. Next, we have the forms feature and you can add your own forms. So if we click on go to forms, you can click on new form. We can say fact find, and then you can add questions to this and send it directly directly to the client 
or if we go back to workspaces, go back to Google Inc, go to the forms, we can then do request a completion. In this area, we can select the form and then select the contact and it will send it to the client for them to complete the form. Next, we have Smart Docs. A Smart Doc is exactly what the name suggests. It's a smart document. This means that we can add in documents, maybe even contracts, where we need our client to enter their information. So we can simply say they need a first name. We also need them to fill out a last name. And maybe we even want them to add their email address. We can also start typing as well. We can add in our own text fields, our own headings, and stuff like that. We can really fill out these documents with whatever sort of information that we want. And then if we just do preview, you can see right here, right, let's fill out the name. So they got Martin, England, and then their email, etc. And it will capture their information. So this would work really well if you've got any sort of contracts or you need to get some sort of agreement in place. You could do all of this and manage the entire system straight here. That is incredibly simple. And now you can cancel all of your other subscriptions from all of these other third parties party tools because Hubflow does this for you. And then finally, inside the billing area of the client portal, you can even send them custom proposals, invoices, or recurving invoices as well. And then that will be logged inside the client portal so they can always access everything. If we just go ahead and click on preview, we can see this is what the client portal will look like for them. Their sidebar menu, which is all of the folders here, it's pretty simple to use. If they wanted to message, they've got this chat window right here where they can chat and talk to you and you can have live communication with them and then whenever there's a task they can just click on tasks and do what they need to do. They can also invite their own team members. The core thing to remember here is that they've got a customized white label portal that you control from the back end. You are able to put any sort of information in front of them and collate all of that information into one area. If you have lots of different tools that you want to give them, you can embed those tools directly into this portal and they will be able to use each tool the way you want them to use it, as well as having a centralized area to communicate, access, and utilize the services that you are. That is incredibly handy. It also looks really clean. And if a service provider was to provide me access to something like this, I would be really happy with it. I want to talk about the workflow. A workflow is essentially an automation. The great thing about this is that this is a built-in automation. You don't need to start paying extra money to utilize third parties to get things automated because all all of the workflows you probably need are already built directly into Hubflow. They've made it incredibly simple to start automating the workflows. Let me show you how some of this works. If we click on browse templates, we can go ahead and click on new workflow. Let's say we wanted to send an email when someone enrolls. So we'll just do save. Now we want the trigger to be something like client signed up. We now know that when the client signs up, that is going to be the trigger. So that client's now signed up and now we want something to happen. So once they've signed up, we might want to create a task. So let's say that the task should be send welcome email. We can say send a greeting pack welcome email to click on the plus sign here. We can then click the contact authentication email, which will be the email address of the person who's just signed up. So that's going to change every single time someone new signs up. Then we can say, what sort of task do we want this to be? We want it to be an email. And then we can say, what project ID? And then we can fill out all of these different fields if we wanted to assign it to a specific workspace, like this is a new contact from Google, or we want to assign it to a specific user, or if we wanted to add related contacts, we can do all of that. And then when we're ready, just press on save. And now what's going to happen is every single time someone signs up, it's going to create a a new task and then we can just do publish and now it says on. So now that's going to run for us, but you can do so much more as well. So for example, we can do a new workflow and this time we might want it to be, hey, let's create a new workspace. We'll do a trick. When a form has been created, so remember we can create forms inside Hubflow and we can say, hey, we've created a fact find form of who the company is. Now we're gonna create a workspace to create their client portal. So we can actually automate the process of creating the portals and 
Remember how we can create templates of our portals as well? Well, we can also assign templates to the workflow and boom, we've got a fully automated system running for us. So we can say when the form ID has been filled out or let's just say, so when form ID includes finished, we can do save. The next step is to create a workspace and we're gonna call the workspace the same as one of the form fields, the form title and leave everything else as blank. But we can also do other things like create the contact. This will show the form fields. So we can say, hey, this is the contact's first name, email, etc. okay? So we will just match the form fields with the first, last name, email and stuff like that. And then that's gonna create a contact. And then we can also say, okay, cool. Let's send that contact a chat room message inside Google Inc. The message could be, hey, welcome to your portal. You can even make it a private message if you want, but you can start seeing that this is limitless. There is so many different things that you can do with your automations. And just in these four little steps, we've automated an amazing onboarding journey. Complete the form. Once the form's been completed by the client, it will automatically create the workspace for them. So they don't need to wait around. Then the workspace, once that's created, it's gonna create a contact based off the details of that form submission. And then we don't need to do any admin with that. It will send them a private message in the chat room of their client portal greeting them. And that can be not even a greeting, maybe an upsell, or maybe let's book a one-on-one -on -one call. It's your business but the possibilities are endless and it makes it incredibly easy to do. Now I want to bring you back to the workspaces because there's another feature I wanted just to wait a little while before I introduced it to you and this is called the template feature. What this means is if you click on these three dots you can convert this entire portal into a template. I'll show you what I mean. Convert into a template, we'll press OK and now it even says this is a client workspace template. So if we go back to workspaces and then then I click on new workspace, you can now see we actually have that template. So when we next create a client portal, we don't need to manually add each folder, each resource, each X, Y, and Z. You can just use that template. And if you're working with different sorts of companies where you want to give them access to certain things, you would just create a template for each one of those company types and you can keep reusing the template. When you click on manage templates, you can edit that that template which will update across all of the other templates as well. So a template is this reusable global file that you can assign to a client portal and it will update across all the client portals where that template has been used. Another thing with Hubflow is the inbox feature. If you come over to emails, you can add your own email in Hubflow and it will sync all of your past emails and future emails inside here where you can start filtering them between leads, clients, partners, contractors, etc. So as an example, let's just set these people here we've never spoken before and I think oh these might actually make a good prospect or someone worth communicating with. I can do numerous things. I can respond to them or I can create a contact and it will automatically populate the information it can extract from the email straight in here as a contact. So then that contact is going to be saved inside the directory, which is going to be saved right into here. And that is easy for admin management and centralizing our data. We can also link different accounts so we can assign them to different client portals. So if we're working with a company that we're dealing with lots of their different employees, we can keep assigning each of those employees to the client portal so they all have access. Inside the client portal you can also restrict the access as well. This easily integrates with Google, Outlook or even add your own domain email. They've even got a Chrome extension to help manage all of this. Use it from your phone as well. And speaking about the mobile phone feature, I've mirrored my phone directly on my computer screen so you can see me navigating. You can download the Hubflow app from Google Play Store or Apple and you can navigate through your entire account directly from your phone and you can see this is very mobile friendly, responsive and it works really fast. You can basically do everything you can do on your desktop directly from your phone as well. That is incredibly handy. I'm actually in my emails directly inside the Hubflow app. 
now on the go I can literally just open this up decide hmm do I want this person as a contact or not and then I can make decisions if I want to add them as a contact or just delete the email just by clicking on the plus icon you can quick access anything that you need they've essentially just made it super convenient whether you are a consultant a business admin someone who deals in financial services if you're an agency or an AI service provider even if you're on things like real estate engineering or architecture Hubflow have done a fantastic job of creating an all-in-one client portal tool that makes it incredibly easy for both you and your clients to access and manage and communicate in one centralized area. So the question is, has Hubflow improved 12 months ago? I would say yes, they absolutely have. Is it worth buying? Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.